Sorry to start me, how are we all doing? Now the question of the day. How much time have you guys wasted so far? And yeah! Today we're gonna have a head-to-head -head showdown between two pens, the Supreme Pen and the Big Soft Fed Men Pen. Alright, all right, before we get started, you guys might be asking, Hey ZHC, why are you doing these kinds of videos? We literally see every single artist on YouTube doing this already. Why are you doing this? And uh, honestly, it's because I'm resting my arm a little bit. I still want to bring great content to you guys, so I'm just laying off the drawing a little bit. I'm still going to do plenty, but it's just kind of a break video for me. So hope you guys are excited for this pen review. Awesome pen review. We're reviewing pens, testing them. Time to find out which one's best, see how they blend, how they write, the quality, if you should buy them, if it's a not- Yeah, I I'm really starting to sound like every other artist on YouTube. Join the artist army right now. We are 350,000 subscribers strong. Join the artist army movement today. We are the fastest growing art channel on YouTube. The strongest community of artists there are and... Alright, let's get started. For centuries, the battle between expensive art supplies and cheap art supplies has went on. Millions of pens and pencils have died fighting for their race. Today we are going to put them to the test and settle it once and for all. They will fight head to head in an epic 8 round battle. Will the Supreme Pen be victorious or is it just another pen with a fancy logo slapped onto it? Find out today on Pen Review. Alright, so first things first, the first thing you see is the packaging. So we're gonna take a look at that. Uh, let's start out with the big one. So the big Soft Touch Comfort. Looks like the typical thing you'll get at a staple store. Made in Mexico, wow! Okay, and they actually give quite a lot. And yeah, color's quite nice, all colorful. Six, nine colors. Okay, even says ballpoint. Let's take a look at the Supreme one now. Now the Supreme one is fairly small compared to this. Made in Germany. Wow, it has the Supreme logo. Honestly speaking, I think this looks much higher end. It, it looks a lot nicer, just cleaner in general. And it's like a box you can keep using, whereas this one, it just rips open. So I'm gonna give big four on this one and Supreme gets nine. So yeah, Supreme wins by a lot on this one. All right, now let's get into the actual pen. So we're gonna test appearance. So the appearance on this is your pretty typical ballpoint pen. You got your little clip over here. It's all clicky and stuff. And yeah, just looks pretty average. Let's take a look at the Supreme one. So the Supreme one, you got your logo right in the center over there. Um, it looks quite nice. There's no like hole showing. Ooh, they, they got a little emblem for Koweko. Yeah, I think you have to unscrew it. Ooh, ooh. Oh, this feels so nice. <laughs> that That is a big cap. What the heck? You guys see that cap? The cap's almost the same size as the pen. Well, the pen body, but Here's the pen. It looks so clean. Wait, I love the matte finish on this. It's like a matte red, so it's not too shiny. This is so smooth. It looks so much nicer. I, I actually like the look of this Supreme pen, not gonna lie. Maybe I'll use it sometimes, but I'm a hype artist now. I'm a hype artist. It's all about the appearance and logo, of course. So for this one, I'm gonna give the ballpoint pen a three because it looks pretty average, and Supreme gets a 10. Gets a 10 on this one. Looks so cool. Although it's a little bit small. But looks so cool. Love the design. Design wise, A. There you guys have it. So, next up, we have the weight of the pen. A lot of you guys know the weight determines how well you write with. Like, the more weight, sometimes it's easier to control. So, we're gonna try this. We're gonna try testing it over here a bit. It's it's fairly lightweight and yeah, it, it's easy to write with, but at the same time there's not too much control. 
We're gonna try the Supreme pen. This is definitely heavier with the cap. Does it go on the back? Ooh, I think I just found something cool. Okay. All right, there is a decent amount of weight to this. This you can actually control fairly well. I, I like how it's thicker on the top. And yeah, there's like a curvature over here that is very much overlooked, but can actually affect how you write and stuff. So, I think Supreme wins again for this one. Wow, okay, Supreme's looking good. This one's actually not bad for the weight, but uh, it's, it's really, really light in my opinion, so I'm giving this a two for the weight. This one is so much heavier. You guys don't even know how heavy this is. Oh, okay, okay, it's not that heavy, but it's heavy enough where it's like comfortable to write with and feels like you got some weight in your hand. So I give this a 10 and Bic gets a two for this one. I am sorry. Okay, next we have comfort. So Bic first, it feels quite comfortable in the hand. I appreciate how they have this rubber grip over here. Feels very nice in my hands. Yeah, that feels nice. And it's kind of rubbery over here too. Overall, it feels a little bit small. I'm not used to holding things so small and thin in my hand, but not bad. It's just your average ballpoint pen, you guys. So there's that, and let's try the Supreme Pen. All right. Comfort-wise, feels quite nice. Should have some tape around here, but I'm not gonna complain over there. Comfort, it feels really nice. So, I'd actually say both are pretty decent on this one. I'm gonna give Bic a seven for being quite comfortable, and Supreme will get a 10, because it's very comfortable, yeah. I love it. Okay, so next up we have smoothness. Let's try out the big pen, see how smooth it writes. I'll write, I hate ZHC. Not bad, there's like a little bit of drag, but that's what you expect out of a ballpoint pen. That's pretty cool actually. It's actually not as bad as you might think. Some cross hatching over there. All right, some doodles and why don't we say an artist are me? Yes, I know, my handwriting is amazing. Everybody give it up for my handwriting. Love it. Okay, moment of truth. Let's see how this bad boy writes. I, oh! Holy crap! Oh my goodness, wait. This is amazing. Damn, I wish you guys could feel this right now. This is writing on another level. I'm telling you guys right now, you guys aren't gonna believe me, but this feels nice. Oh my goodness, it, it feels like you're rubbing your hand across like a baby's skin, just, oh yeah. What the heck, what kind of dark magic is this? Ooh, ooh, oh, oh. We gotta see what's inside of this, okay? Um, can you take this apart since we're checking the smoothness of the pen? Okay, I, I'm not sure if you can take it out, but we're gonna take this apart. I, I gotta see what's inside of this. This is some next level stuff. Oh, do you guys see that? It's starting to unscrew. Ooh. Okay, the cap's coming off. Wow. Wow, I never thought I would say this, but I am genuinely impressed with the inside of a pen. Okay, there we see. It's some kind of Germany art thing, Koweko. It says over here, I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but it says some gel ceramic roller. Wow, I, I never knew gel ceramic rollers were this nice, but this is some nice stuff right here. Like I'm not even sponsored by Supreme or anything, but this is just some nice stuff. Okay, I'm gonna put this back so I don't ruin it. All right. Wow, I, I am actually really, really impressed by how this writes. I was not expecting that. <laughs> Damn, okay. So, I think 
Smoothness wise, the big pen maybe gets a 6 and the supreme pen is gonna get a 10. Wow, that is just amazing, you guys. This is actually life changing. All right, next up we have color options. So obviously Big has a lot more colors. It's not just red. We've got plenty of colors over here. We got purple, we got blue, we got pink, we got green, uh, and we got dark blue. For Supreme, you only have the matte black red, which I'm not complaining about, but for those of you guys that aren't a big fan of red, this might not be the thing to buy. So for color options, I'll give this a 9. It's not a 10 just because they don't have my favorite color turquoise in here. Screw that. And Supreme, uh, well, it only has one color, so we're gonna give it a 1. Okay, now the true test. We are gonna test them side by side. We're gonna draw something small. All right, so that was using the big pen. Now it's time to try out the Supreme Pen. This is gonna be what determines who wins and who doesn't. Ooh, just tap that in. Oh yeah. For the Supreme Pen, I'm thinking of doing a slightly different version of Venom. Here would be Venom if I was able to design him. Like, not even the movie Venom, the actual CHC Venom. And just so you guys know, every time I draw a line, that's like $5 right there. $5 a line, can you believe it? So, each one of these lines are very, very precious and valuable. <laughs> Whew, that was the Supreme Pen drawing. Oh shoot, I forgot to write Supreme. Supreme. I actually thought the ink in this was gonna be red to be honest, so <laughs> that's why there was a red pen. But I'd say they were both nice in their own way. As you can see, this was more of a gel pen and this was more of a ballpoint pen. Um, this one writes a lot softer, there's like different variations, this one's just like a solid color. So, I'm gonna have to give both of them the same score, so we'll just zero it out, zero, zero. So, it's gonna be a tie for this one. Tie. And last but not least, we have the affordability. The big pen sets you back around 50 cents. And the Supreme Pen sets you back around, what was it, let me see, 150, what the f What's wrong? Uh, I bought this pen, but the score was actually lower than the ballpoint pen. This one's 50 cents and this one was $150. I, I can't believe they... They literally put a logo on here and all of a sudden it's worth a lot. I don't get it. I, I feel like I just wasted my money. No. What should I do with it? Draw. Draw. But I can draw with a ballpoint pen. So annoying. I mean, I guess the nice thing about having this is you can flex on everyone when you draw with it. You can show everyone how much money you have, so... Hey, I'm rich! Well, you're an artist. Damn it! <laughs> I, I don't even want this anymore. Where are you going? I, I'm gonna get rid of it. I don't even want it. it sucks. Screw that pen. I don't want it. 
<laughs> Why? A waste of money. I think there's still something inside. What do you mean? There's still something inside? I thought it was just a pen. What is it? Oh! It's a Koweko sticker! Oh my goodness, wait, can I peel this off? <laughs> I don't know. They gave me a sticker! Is it worth it now? <laughs> yeah. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed that video. This video shout out goes to Tricky Swerve. If you want to win a shout out to just join the notification squad, you already know what it is. So a lot of people don't realize how strong the artist army actually is. So I want to show off the power and strength of the artist army. You guys submit fan art all the time. I'm going to start posting a few of your artworks at the end of the video so people can see just how much work you guys are putting in behind the scenes. So go ahead, submit your fan art right now, chcreview at gmail.com. I'll be waiting. And very soon I'm going to be doing the channel banner video and I'm not going to be the one talking in it. It's going to be you guys. I want you guys to submit video footage to zhcreview at gmail.com of you guys talking about why you love art, why you love the channel, why you love to be in the artist army, the strongest community of artists on the internet. So I'll give you guys a couple days to do that. I'm looking forward to seeing your video entries. Just say video entry in the subject title. I think that about wraps it up for this video. I'm going to miss you guys so much. I hate saying bye every time, but I'll give you guys a good bye kiss. Give me a sec. Mwah. I love every single one of you guys. Thanks so much for building up the artist army, the strongest community of artists on the internet. And with that being said, keep those pencils moving, stay on the daily grind. Love you guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Ugh.